we are going to discuss a very important topic that is indexed sequential access method. In short, it will be called as ISAM. Now, what is ISAM and how the structure will be built? So, we will be discussing that one here. So, this is one index structure which is static in nature. That means, once the separator levels have got constructed, they will not change. Number and position of leaf nodes in the file stays fixed. So, these are the mainly two points in case of ISAM. So, let us go for the structure so that we can have the better idea. So, this is the structure of this ISAM or index sequential access method. So, here you see all the names are key values that means they will not repeat. So, whenever we are having certain names, so those names we are having alphabetically lesser than this J U D Y, they will be coming on this subtree. And all the names which are equal to or greater than to this J U D Y will be coming here and those names will be here who are also lesser than this T I C K. So, those names will be coming here which are greater than to this T I C K and they will be coming to this particular subtree. So, in this way the index sequential access method will be built. Okay. Now, see these are the pointers and these are the respective key values. So, you can easily find that the number of pointers will be one greater than the number of key values. So, here the key values this is my k1, this is my k2. So, so here we are having this p0, p1, p2. So, here we are having three pointers as well as 3 minus 1 that is two number of keys will be there. So, in this way the structure will be built. But at the leaf nodes there will be no pointer because they are not pointing to anyone. So, that is why at the leaf node there is no pointer which was there in our index nodes and index nodes are the non-leaf nodes. Okay. Now, it is good this particular structure data structure is good for equality and range searches. What is the equality search? I want to find out the uh, age of a certain employee having got employee ID 1, 2, 3, 4. So, that is known as the equality search. So, what is the range searches? That means, I want to get all employee details having got employee ID ranging from 100 to 200. So, that is known as the range search. So, this particular data structure ISAM is suitable for equality and range searches accordingly. That means, if I want to get only those people name which are ranging from starting with the name E to starting with the name F. So, in this way we can easily go to the, those fields where and those names ranging from within that specified limits. So, in this way the range searches can be done and obviously equality searches can easily be done here. Let us suppose I want to get a name say ABC in that case A is lesser than J. So, it will be coming down to this A is lesser than this B. So, it will be coming down to this and here we can go for this ABC. So, at first I shall come, come here it is not ABC, but here I will be getting ABC and this leaf nodes are shorted. So, that is why in case of range searches we can access them accordingly. Okay, now, so leaf pages stored sequentially in the file when the storage structure is created to support the range searches as I have mentioned here. Supports multiple attributes such keys and partial searches also partial key searches also. Contents of the leaf pages can change. So, whatever the contents in the leaf nodes, they can easily be changed. Row deletion yields empty spot in the leaf page. That means, whenever there will be some deletion of the node and then it will leave one empty spot in the leaf page. Row insertion can result an in overflow leaf page and ultimately overflow chain. So, now here you see, let us suppose I want to insert one name say Ivan. So, I will be greater than this B and I will be lesser than this Gen. So, it will be coming down to this. So, I is greater than B, I is greater than ED, but there is no space in this particular leaf node. So, one overflow chain will be there where I will be getting, I will be keeping this Ivan here. So, in this way, we are having this overflow chains whenever required. So, it will be inserted accordingly. So, it has been mentioned here. Okay. Chain might be long, unshorted, scattered on disk. ISAM can be inefficient if the table is dynamic. That means, if there are very 
frequent insertion, deletion, updation, operations are taking place. In those applications, this ISM data structure is not suitable because it will go on creating more and more overflow chains and so on. So now, generally an integrated storage structure, so it is clustered index entries can contain rows. So that, that means here we are having this respective, here we are having this respective pointer. So, I am pointing to this key values and this with this key the respective row will get connected because this is the key values but other non-key attributes will be there in the respective tuple. So, they will get referred and referenced from these key values. Separated entities that is ki, pi where ki is a search key value, pi is a pointer to the lower level page. So, in this way this is my p0 let it be my k1 if I start from k0 also so that is the k0. So, here it is p1, so here it is k1 and here it is p2 in this way the indexing and the respective key values will be kept in the node. Ki separate set of search key values in the two subtrees pointed at by pi minus 1 and pi. So, whatever we have mentioned so it is working accordingly. So, this is my ISAM and it works on, it is a good data structure for those applications where you will be going for range and equality searches. And also this particular ISAM is suitable for many different applications, but where we are having very rapid and dynamic changes on the databases, then here this ISAM, of, ISAM data structure is not suitable. Thanks for watching this video.